How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC and today we're doing a little bit of a pocket dump, some upcoming drops, some cool new stuff that has come in. Check that out. Let's get into it. First, how is everyone doing? It is a beautiful day here in New Hampshire. It's almost 70 degrees which is kind of wild. So I figured filming outside would be nice but this is the stuff that I am carrying today, so I figured I'd show you guys. Got the copper Maritac flashlight. This is a nice little light, nothing special. It's really small though, reliable, love it. That's the pocket light today. The trusty Victorinox Super Tinker, the best Swiss Army knife of all time. I have a very thorough review on this with the Nipex pliers. I think it's the best combo you can get. I am obsessed with this multi-tool. I have tried nearly everything that Victorinox makes and this is the multi-tool for me. It has a lot of really useful tools on it. This is definitely like my beater knife, but I love that you can store a pin down in here I use this a lot, actually. Very, very useful. Um, I've had this for years. This is easily my most used tool, and I do use it every single day. For the traditional knife today, we have it riding in a slip that I made. This is the Slater Leatherworks Carrot Incognito. Just a really cool camouflage orange slip inside we've got that beautiful burnt sienna bone GEC 72 she's got the teeners absolutely stunning very lucky to have this this one's a user cool brass bead on there from urban carvers but that's the traditional today and then we are back to the Sidewinder wallet from Failsafe Goods. This is one of my oldest wallets. I carried this consecutively for like a year and a half or something like that. Um, a lot of people have bought this because of me. Very, very nice. I think I actually probably will pull this thread out and restitch it because it's just so beat up. But this is just one of my favorite wallets. This inspired me to start making my own wallets and I just love this thing. It's in Crazy Horse but you wouldn't be able to tell because it's so shiny now. But this absolutely inspired my wallets so I just really like to carry it. But gorgeous piece. And then today's carry, which has been every day's carry since it came in, the Northern Knife Works Badger in Crewwear. 66.5 HRC. I've been testing this because we are doing a small drop of, I believe, five of these on Friday, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. So I've been testing this before we do the drop. And man, is this exactly what I wanted it to be. Guys, I've been doing everything with this blade and it is incredible. Just an all around really nice user. I already sharpened it and it took a matter of minutes. I'm gonna make a an in-depth video on this, of course, and explain the sharpening and all that, but we're dropping these orange ones on Friday. There will only be five available, so uh, definitely get over on Instagram, or if you wanna place a custom order for one of these, you can, in whatever steel you wish, whatever handle material you want. Doesn't have to be this configuration, but that's been the user lately. This thing is a tank. Now, I wanna talk about a couple of other happenings. Now that I have fully switched over to 
custom knives really figured um, I can start doing some news I guess some knife news on drops and available knives and models that are in the works all that stuff um, just to help highlight some of these custom makers that don't get the limelight that production companies make you know um, or that production companies get. It's really unfortunate that we have these incredible makers that, you know, have to do all of the stuff themselves, including marketing. Uh, so a lot of us don't even know about them because we don't, we don't see them, right? They get drowned out by the algorithm, especially on Instagram. So, um, Baby Moon Blades, this gorgeous piece here. I did a video using this to process some chickens the other day for the dogs. Really good video. This did incredibly well. And after that video, I did reach out to Baby Moon and I asked if they would like to collaborate on a design. That is kind of my goal. That is what I want to do is design knives. It's what I do, you know. Um, so I am working on a design right now. It should be here tomorrow, the prototype. And we made a very cool bird and trout knife. Uh, it's not in Canister Damascus, it's in W2, but um, the beautiful people over at Baby Moon Blades are doing a, a hunting bird and trout knife with me, and it's absolutely awesome. So we have that to look forward to. Like I said, it should be in the mail tomorrow. It should be here tomorrow, I should say. Um, but very honored that they were willing to do a design with me. I have an, a number of designs out with all different makers. I have not worked with Baby Moon yet. So when they said yes, I was just absolutely blown away. Uh, very excited about that. Next up here, this is the Goathead Knives Trapper that I've had since this summer. If you guys saw that video, this came in orange. Nope, it didn't. It came in red G10, and I'm not a big fan of red. Uh, so I never really vibed with this knife fully because I love the blade shape. I love how it's made. It's perfect, but I could not stand the red handle. So finally, I sent this over to Josh Francis over at Knife Guy Mods, and he did this rehandle for me in fall scales, orange G10 liners. But look at this, guys. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. And for me, it's really hard to bond with a knife if I don't like how it looks. And I know that's so silly, but it's just how I am. Like, the blade on this is perfect. It's beautifully stonewashed. It's Nitro V at 62 HRC. Uh, freehand sharpened by Todd. Beautiful crown jimping. Kind of just an all-around stunning hunting knife. But those red scales were not my jam. Also, sorry about the dog. Um, this is. So, really, really excited about how this turned out. Hey, Jasmine, can you stop, please? All right, enough. Really, really pleased with how this turned out. Josh did incredibly well on this rehandle. Super smooth. Feels great in the hand. Gorgeous fit and finish. Perfect thickness for me. Like, this is just stunning. So I'm really, really pleased with this. This is definitely something I want to use. Throw into my rotation now. Check out Josh's work. Um, if you want a rehandle done on a fixed blade, that's something he can absolutely do, and he's very good at it. You can pick whatever you want, really. Um... And then lastly here, I do want to talk about the Chum model from Duckhead Forge. These are available now. You can purchase one through his Instagram. This is an outdoors knife, a, uh, I guess you could call it bushcraft knife, but just an all-around outdoor utility knife, hunting knife. Um, we processed a deer with my other version of this, and it did incredibly well. It was the one of the top picks out of all the knives that we used. But this one's in crew wear, absolutely gorgeous, 62 HRC, really nice outdoors knife, very comfortable in hand. And like I said, these are available. You can purchase one through 
Dusty's Instagram. He does drops. You can also just custom order. Tapered tang. These are actually really useful, these scallops right here. But just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I, um, I was a little nervous about kind of fully switching to only making content on custom knives and I didn't really know how well that was going to be accepted, but um, the support has been really surprising. And, you know, like I said, it's not like custom makers get the, the attention that production companies get because they don't have all that time to, to market and they don't have that extra money to like pay someone to do their social media and whatever. So it's like, we have all of these insane makers that are doing knives uh, in steel, in steels that we have never seen at this hardness, you know, like 66.5 HRC. That's, that's crazy. Uh, the production ones are 63 to 64, but, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, we just don't see these getting attention as much as like Benchmade and Spyderco and Civivi and all that because they don't have time to do it. So it's kind of like word of mouth. And if I can be part of that, um... That really makes me happy because these makers are doing incredible pieces that actually work. And you can choose your your steel and you can choose your handle material. And I'm just really, I guess, honored to be uh, part of that side of the community. Friends with these people, designing knives with these people. Um, it's really a blessing. So I appreciate you guys checking this out today. Please check out all of the makers here and I will continuously be making content on all the other makers that I enjoy or work with or what have you. But uh, get on that Badger drop. Like I said, there are only five available and this is just a really nice hunting and EDC knife. Um, should have content on that prototype by Friday. Check out Josh over at Knife Guy on Instagram. And please check out Dusty over at Duckhead Forge. He makes some really cool knives. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much, fam. Take care.